Hi, my name is Colin. I'm a husband, father of three school-aged children, an accountant and a Christian. My family have been blessed to be part of Hailsham Parish Church for the last eight years. Now my days are mostly filled with work, as are some evenings. But when I do find time to relax, I enjoy to go for a drive with the family into the country and a walk and a picnic, particularly on sunny days. I'm not a very practical person. I'd much prefer filling in a tax return than putting up a shelf or doing some gardening. But I do enjoy cooking and I'm told that I do cook a mean Sunday roast. Now lockdown has meant working from home along with the rest of the family. And with five people all competing for the Wi-Fi, it has proved tricky at times and in the house tensions have been high from time to time. Added to that, the workload has been very high, particularly trying to assist clients who are seeking to find their way through all the support that's available for their businesses. But also it's been a difficult time for many people who have found themselves in a dire financial situation and their hopes and dreams for the future taken away before their very eyes. Now I've always been somewhat of a worrier, a nervous person, and the arrival of coronavirus with its serious impact on all of us and the restrictions that have been placed on our freedoms, those that we take for granted. It's only really served to increase my anxiety now and about the future. But what lockdown has made me realize more than ever is that the things we have in this world, the things we hold dear, that give us a sense of security, our jobs, our money, our family, these things can, in a matter of days and weeks, be taken away. And sadly, as we've seen, our lives can be taken away very quickly too. But what has really made a difference to, to me during this lockdown period is holding on to the promise that God has for me as one of his children. Now in the Bible, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 19, Jesus is speaking to a crowd and he says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Now in my work, I've seen how quickly what we have in this world can be taken away. And this is why Jesus is urging his hearers not to focus their efforts on the material things in this life, but to look for lasting treasure, which God offers. Eternal life in a perfect new creation with God, one that will last. And I know that this treasure is mine because Jesus has paid the ultimate price to secure it for me. When the coming weeks and months seem worrying and uncertain, focusing on Jesus's promise brings me peace and hope for the future. Thank you for listening to the story of my lockdown life. If you'd like to find out more about the difference Jesus makes, please use the link below to visit the website. Bye for now.